Hi, and welcome to the course. My name's Jason, and I'll be your instructor on how to create 2D game graphics and assets for your games. So we're gonna be creating these assets in Photoshop, and we're gonna have a ton of fun. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself so you know who I am. So like I said, my name's Jason Bachelor, and I began a six month internship with an animation studio when I was 17. From there, they hired me to create assets for animated TV shows, projects, and they also had me create backgrounds and concept art. From there, I began a freelance illustration and design career, and now I'm teaching here on Udemy. So what are you going to be getting out of this course? Well, we're gonna first off start with the basics of Photoshop. Now, if you're already familiar with Photoshop, you can go ahead and skip this section. Once we go over that, we're gonna go over the basics of drawing. We're gonna go over shapes, value, and even perspective. Then we're gonna get into a little bit of color theory and how to choose your colors. Once we get the fundamentals out of the way, we're gonna jump right in and create some awesome assets, starting with a wooden crate. Once we build this wooden crate and you get an idea of how to create an asset in Photoshop, we're gonna go ahead and move on to a more advanced version of this wooden crate by creating a hand-painted texture for it. At this point, you should be feeling very comfortable with creating assets in Photoshop. So then, we're gonna jump right in and start recreating assets from the hit game Rayman, which many of you have probably heard of. It's been rated one of the number one most beautiful games and well-designed games. During this project, you're gonna learn how to paint glass as well as use Photoshop's pattern tool to quickly create patterns. After that, we're gonna go ahead and create some assets from one of the top games in the app store, Crossy Road. Next, we're gonna move on to painting a sword. This sword is going to teach you how to paint metal and leather. And lastly, we're gonna create three separate gem buttons that you'll be able to put objects in and use throughout your games. But that's not all. There's also a bonus section where I'm going to teach you how to animate a play button. And as time goes on, I'm planning on adding more animation lectures into the course. So I hope you guys are excited to get started. I am, and I'm excited to get to know you guys and see your artwork. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started.